All right, Nicole has already done one wheel by herself. She's getting ready. She's going to give the wheel and tire a rinse first. She just drove here, so we're also using that to cool the wheel and brake area. So we don't want to work on hot surfaces. Set that down. Yep, foam that tire and get pretty close. Yep, even closer to the tire. Perfect, yep. Yep, you're getting a nice foam on that tire. And if you want, spray. go ahead and spray in and do your wheel well, too. A nice coat. Yep, get right up in there. Yep. Now she's going to grab her Armor Detail Supply Wheel Cleaner. Yep. <laughs> Which has a little pungent blueberry smell. But I just let her try a different iron remover. And this one is so much better. So it has some of that color changing ingredient in it. Yeah, easy detail brush. She's going to start at 6 o'clock on the wheel. I kind of like starting there because then I'm pulling up as the cleaners are running down to the wheel. It's pulling those up and getting on the brush and helping us work our way around. So we always work in a circle. Some people will start at the valve stem. She's doing a great job. Yep, just kind of a quick clean in the... It's almost like flossing teeth. She's getting a quick clean of the barrel. A lot of people forget this step. We are not. Excellent. Kind of point down, point up, and straight in. Perfect. And then move to the next opening. This is on our last one. And look at that purple forming. Excellent job. She'll grab her... Where you, since she has black oil wheels, we're going to use the Easy Detail brush. It's like a big makeup brush. Very good. Nice scrub of the lug nuts first and center of the wheel. And then same technique. She can start 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, valve stem, wherever. She's going to get a pattern. So she doesn't miss anything. Look at that. Armor Detail Supplies Wheel Cleaner has a nice foaming action to it as well. Which is Nicole just learned about foaming. It helps it dwell longer to stay on those surfaces. But every little bubble that pops introduces new cleaner. Come back in a sec. So she's just finishing up. She's worked her way around. One more little section. And she's going to grab the scrub brush in the back. I have the most amazing wheel bucket over there. Giving those tire sidewalls a quick scrub because, as we know, the better we clean and prep, the better our dressing will adhere and last to finished product. dirty and give a good rinse and then just don't forget to give a quick rinse to your wheel well we're not scrubbing in there because it's not really needed but yep so cool. top down look at that the active 2.0 is an amazing high flow gallon per minute pressure washer she's going to rinse until that frothing is gone so we know we're getting all the chemical rinsed out Beautiful. Should be good. Perfect. All right, so I just taught Nicole we're going to teach her rinseless washing. She's made her 256 to 1 DIY details rinseless wash. We're going to walk around because I'm showing her the magic of glass. When you make your rinseless up, do all the glass first. But she's going to look through towards, and here, let me get this. If you can see it her dogs so look and i go ahead and start cleaning your inside glass and watch how easily because there's surfactants and cleaners in it it's going to remove her smudgy stuff i just go back and forth flip to a different side of the towel so i'm always using a cleaner side she's going to scrub 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 all the marks are disappearing the oils and everything from willow she's going to clean edge to edge looks pretty uniform so this circle here tells me Go over that again. That might have been a dealer sticker. That might be on the outside of the glass. Okay. So then she grabs her drying towel. She's going to do this on her windshield, side glass, front glass, infotainment screens. Freaking amazing. I almost cussed. It's that phenomenal. Because you have cleaner soaked in that microfiber towel and the rinseless wash in it makes it so slippery. You're not fighting with smearing and streaking from a glass cleaner. Boom.
Um, whatever we want. Yep. And just kind of point it down so you're not spraying up in the ceiling. There you go. And that's where the main funk is, as you know, driving down the road. It seems like it always coats on your bottom half. So that's the areas we're really treating with the all clean. Yep. Nice even layer. And then take it around and do the tailgate when you're ready. You're good. Enough room there? Yeah. Top down, also get your bumper real good. That one we're gonna have Car Pro D scale for the washing soap. Nicole is claying the vehicle. We've washed it. She's using way too much iron remover, but we're gonna let that happen. <laughs> She's spraying DIY details iron remover using that as a lubricant for the clay towel. They call it their synthetic decontamination towel. Show the camera real quick. The towel, yep, see it's got like a rubber synthetic material that plucks the junk off the paint that should not be there. And then with the iron remover, the iron is breaking down rust, specks, iron contamination from your brakes, industrial fallout. She's doing a great job. So now we're gonna rinse that and let it dry and go into machine polishing. Even though we did a spot free rinse, Nicole is blow drying the heavy water off so we can get into taping and polishing. Nicole is taping some delicate areas so we do not stain any plastics with our polisher that she's getting ready to try for the first time. A little weird going around the edges, but she's doing a good job. Doesn't matter if it's beautiful, just that we're covering those plastics. It's not worth the risk of discoloring plastic. And then go back up in vertical stripes this time on that same section. Yeah, keeping it flat to every curve. That's real good. Still a little high in the back, just a little bit. There you go. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. A little high in the front now. There you go. Yep, so do a couple vertical strips. Group has yellow pad, gold scanner polish. Teaching her how to hold that pad flat. The bottom's off the paint, so yeah, there you go. Bottom's still off. There you go. She's getting it. You want some side panels? Nicole is using a panel prep and cleaning the wheels to prepare for the ceramic coating. We have already used Gion Prep on all of the painted surfaces because we're going to use Gion Mose Evo. We're using Armor Detail Supplies panel prep, but that's gonna clean that wheel up just great for Gion Rim Evo on the wheels. The truck is already glowing, but when we put the ceramic coating layer of glass on, it's gonna glow even more. Ooh, dark night is looking good. So Nicole's doing a little touch up on the running boards there. The wheels are coated, the tires look amazing. And we just wanted to kind of clean these running boards up a little bit. So we're using Adapt Waterless Wash by Iron Armor Detail Supply. We'll clean those up. Oh, nice product. Smells great, doesn't it? Smells uh, no, yeah, it smells great. Like, oh, it's, what would you call the smell? What do you think? What is it? Fruity? Yeah, fruity, maybe mango or something. Um, product like that's great for touch-up if you get fingerprints. Never meant to clean a dirty painted vehicle, but... If you wash it and you miss a couple spots, use that waterless wash. It's cleaning up real nice, but just giving a little bit of ceramic protection on it without making it slippery. We don't need her breaking her back, getting in her beautiful truck. Cleaning it up and adding just a little bit of sheen because we're gonna get a picture in a minute with this thing. Turned out gorgeous. 
pulled it out in the light would enable us to much easier see any high spots from that ceramic coating. Gian Mo's Evo levels amazing, very easy product to apply. I have switched to a different line, give you a guess. Yes, it's Armor Detail Supply. They're a little bit stronger quartz coating, a little bit more of a durable coating, but teaching Nicole to apply one, I have a 50 mil bottle of Gian Mo's Evo that we used on this truck. It's gonna last her a couple of years, make it very easy to wash and dry. She's chose what method to wash it? Uh, spotless method. No, close, rinseless. Oh, rinseless. Rinseless washing. She's, yeah, there you go. Um, that does, yeah, it's not like a spot-free water, but yes, it's rinseless is a spot-free way to wash the truck because if she gets her hose out and tries to wash this with tap water and she doesn't get it all off, it could leave water spots over that beautiful ceramic coating. So I showed her how to use rinseless wash, gave her some products to do that. But what do you guys think? Gorgeous. So is the truck. No, <laughs> but uh, it looks awesome. 2023, and we just looked at the odometer, 13,000 miles. So what do you think of the whole process? Did you learn anything today? I learned a lot. There's a lot to learn. That's a lot of questions I'm sure I'll have if I ever yeah. do it again. But. but you learned how to deep clean paint. You were using a polisher. Mm -hmm. Jewel it up. Ceramic coating. I was going around applying the coating. She was buffing it off, leveling it for me. Um, we did Gian trim on the plastics. Gian Rem Evo on the wheels. Substantial, great coatings. Try those guys. If you have any questions, post them below. And I'm sure we'll make another video in the future with Nicole. But great job. Fist bump.